It began as a vision. It revitalized downtown development. And it has become a national leader in performing arts. It's the Civic Center of Greater Des Moines. Enjoy the show. In the 1970s, downtown Des Moines was a city in decline. The city was in need of a new performing arts facility, and local leaders envisioned that a cultural center would lead a new renaissance for the downtown area. When a local bond option to fund a performing arts facility failed to pass, a small group of local business leaders revised the original plans and formed a not-for-profit corporation that would raise the funds to build and maintain the facility for the whole community. Former publisher of the Des Moines Register, David Crydenier, and bankers John Fitzgibbon and J.C. Brenton initiated the development. The old KRNT radio theater had closed, and I couldn't conceive that the capital of the state of Iowa would not have a performing arts uh, theater. And at some event, I, uh, I told Crydenier who was my senior and mentor in many ways, I said, this is ridiculous. He said, well, maybe we should try and do something. I said, I'll support, I'll help you in any way. You let me know, let's do this thing. He didn't want to take it on himself. He needed like any, you, you, need, you need somebody around you, but he was the central figure. And I'm just uh, so sad he isn't here to sit where I'm sitting and tell you about it in his modest way. Quite a man. These community leaders went on to raise over $9 million in 90 days and kick off a unique collaboration of public and private support. The city of Des Moines not only committed one block for the building, but leaders persuaded the city to donate a second block for a total value just over $2 million. This additional land would create a central open space for culture and events. The Civic Center of Greater Des Moines opened its doors for its first performance on June 14, 1979. Designed by Charles Herbert and Associates, this contemporary style building has been praised by audiences and actors alike, and has also received the 25-year award from the American Institute of Architects Iowa Chapter for its outstanding design that has stood the test of time. Adjacent to the main building is the Civic Center's Nolan Plaza, a public square that serves not only as a Civic Center's front door, but as a gathering place for the community. The plaza features the iconic Crusoe umbrella by world-renowned artist Klaus Oldenburg, as well as the Brenton Waterfall and Reflecting Pool. Together, this entire two-block investment in culture became a catalyst for further downtown development that we continue to see today in new businesses, attractions, and nightlife. The economic impact from the Civic Center's programming generates tens of millions of dollars annually to local hotels, restaurants, and retail establishments. In 1997, the impact of the Civic Center reached new heights with the Iowa premiere of the Phantom of the Opera. During the five-week run, the center attracted over 100,000 people to downtown Des Moines with a virtual sellout for each performance and it's not only ticket sales that made an impression on Broadway. We all came out of doing The Phantom amazed at the audience, the response of the audiences, and uh, how educated the audiences were. When you have people that are so engaged in what you're doing up there on stage, my gosh, it makes your job not only easy, but really, really fun. Thanks to this audience response, the Civic Center has truly become a national leader in the performing arts and continues to attract multi-week blockbusters to the city. Its Broadway series subscriber base is one of the largest in the country and it's often ranked in the top 25 theaters worldwide for total attendance. Civic Center's president and CEO, Jeff Chelsvig, is a member of the Broadway League and Iowa's only voter for the annual Tony Awards. You have to be committed to quality. I think that is what we have learned the most at the Civic Center is that people really want high quality. And if you bring quality performances and performers here, people will support you. As a member of the Independent Presenters Network, 
a consortium of national Broadway theaters, the Civic Center also invests in new and touring Broadway productions. Often, this investment results in a scheduled stop in Des Moines prior to other larger markets. Having worked with, with the facility for a number of years, originally the approach was very conservative. It was Camelot, South Pacific. It was all of the, the cherries, as we call them. In recent years, they're absolutely on the cutting edge of anything that's considered top-notch Broadway. They don't censor their audiences or try to determine what they should or shouldn't see other than the fact that they should see the best. The best of the Civic Center's programming also includes Central Iowa's cultural community. It's proud to be home to the Des Moines Symphony, Stage West, and the Smart Talk Connected Conversation series. The Civic Center brings world-class professional dancers to its main stage through its dance series, while the Family Series provides an introduction to culture for young families to enjoy and learn from together. And as a partner to the schools, the Civic Center attracts over 30,000 school children each year to the theater through its Applause Series, while also providing teachers with tools and resources to bring the theater into the classroom. Also extending beyond the main hall's reach is the Civic Center's Temple Theater Series and the Temple for Performing Arts, which helps to introduce new audiences to culture in the Western Gateway that benefits the entire city. I remember coming here for a class trip when I was in elementary school. We saw The Jungle Book, and that was the first time I ever saw like a theater production, and I just had really fond memories of it. It's just something I really love to see and do since I was little. It's a little sh slice of New York City for us. The show is awesome. I definitely come back. It's like when the lights go down, you're just totally focused. It's awesome. It brings everyone down to the center of, of the city. Honestly, we feel like we're in a much bigger city. It's fantastic. It's such a treat um, to have it here in Des Moines. I like it. A vision has the power to generate realities where culture creates economic development, and where this vision will continue to engage, entertain, and educate audiences through diverse programming that broadens a community experience. It's the center of the city. It's the center of culture. And it's the center of a vibrant future. It's the Civic Center of Greater Des Moines.